Hi, this is Matt Caton with The Brain Technologies, and today I'd like to speak with you about copying thoughts and merging brains. Copying thoughts in personal brain is very easy to do. It's also a useful tool for helping with version control or duplicating thoughts with lots of commonly used content. For this example, I'm going to go into my invoices. I need to create a new March invoice for this particular client. Rather than creating the thought and document from scratch, I'm simply going to duplicate the February invoice and just simply change the numbers. I'll right click on this particular thought, select copy thought, right click in the background, and select paste. As you can see, it duplicated the February thought. I have a new thought called February. It has an identical attachment associated with that thought. And now I can simply change the thought name, open the attachment, and start editing those numbers. Additionally, I can copy thoughts from one brain to another. This project overview is a great template for a client project. I'm going to simply right click again, select copy thought. Now I'll launch a new brain file. For this example, I'm going into my Acme brain, another prospective client. I'll click on projects. Again, right click on the background and select paste. It's duplicated the project overview thought and its attachment from my eSolutions consulting brain into the Acme brain. In addition to copying individual thoughts from one location to another in the same brain or even into another brain, I can also copy multiple thoughts. For this example, I'd like to copy this Time Warner client and all of its child thoughts for five generations into another brain. My boss would like to take a look at this for his monthly review. What I'm going to do is control click on the Time Warner thought. Control clicking on any thought adds it to the selection box. Now I'll right click on Time Warner in the selection box and select Crawl and Modify Brain Selection. I'll add to the selection box every child word thought for five generations away. As you can see, it has added 35 thoughts into the selection box. Now I'll right click, select Copy Selected Thoughts. Now I'll go into a new brain file that I've created, simply called the Time Warner Account Review. Right click on the background, select Paste Thoughts, and I've instantly pasted in that entire branch under the Time Warner section from my original brain. The notes have been included and any properties or attachments are associated with all these thoughts. Now I can simply zip this brain up and send it off to my boss. He'll receive only the Time Warner section that he needs to review and none of the other components of the original, much larger, personal brain. Copying sections of brain files and pasting them into smaller individual brains is one way of breaking up very large brain structures that we've created. But from time to time, it's also necessary to merge brain structures together. The Acme Incorporated brain that we took a look at earlier is now a full-time client. I'd like to merge that brain into my eSolutions consulting brain under the manufacturing thought. I navigated to the manufacturing thought, and now I'm simply going to click on File and select Merge Brain. From my list of existing brains, I'll simply select the acmeinc.brain file and click on Open. As you can see, we've added the Acme Inc. brain now under the manufacturing thought in our eSolutions consulting brain. I can continue to add content to the Acme Inc. structure and it is all incorporated in my original brain file. 
I hope you find these tips on copying thoughts and merging brains very useful in your day-to-day -day personal brain activity. Enjoy using your personal brain.